Hey guys, Bishop back again with another video. Pow, you know the vibes. And we are in the FBL playoffs. Now, playoff round one, we are facing Mr. Cherry Mancake in the Philadelphia Mel Metals. Now, Cherry has Pelophon, Iron Treads, Dragapult, Zapdos, Screamtail, Volcanion, and Zerud. Now, I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna say it again, actually. Pelophon, Iron Treads, Dragapult, Zapdos, Screamtail, Volcanion, and Zerud. His last three mons, they're all like share and a violate, so it's literally a hit or miss, or if one of those three come. So I'm not really worried about them, but the rest of his guys, oh my god. And he has a Terra on Volcanion and Zerud. Yo, this team is crazy. No surprise that he made it into playoffs. So, for his team, we got a pretty generic way of dealing with it. He has a huge rock weakness. So, I want Lycanroc to pop off. We have Stone Edge, Excel Rock, Swords Dance, and Close Combat. Lycanroc is faster than everybody on Cherry's team, except for Screamtail and Dragapult, which is, I mean, understandably so. Um, Excel Rock is for revenge killing. If we could get a Swords Dance off, Lycanroc can go crazy. We got CC because the only thing that resists Rock is Iron Treads. So, we're going to CC that, John. And um, we have Stone Edge just to hit super hard. Um, we have Serena which is going to be the max defense, a lot of HP, and a little bit of speed um, to outspeed, so like no speed Volcanion, um, if we can get that far. We have Rapid Spin, U-Turn, Synthesis, and Power Whip. Rapid Spin for Hazards, obviously, U-Turn for a little bit of Momentum, Synthesis to Heal, and Power Whip, so that we can be whipping things, putting things in range, and just being a nuisance. You know, Serena can swing on the Palafin, Treads, um, Volcanion, it's a rude if it Terra's, you know, Serena is pretty good, and it is the Grass Terra type, just to get, like, extra damage out of the Power Whip. Next, we have Gudra, with its max HP, a lot of Spadef, and a lot of Special Attack. Now, Gudra's Spadef, I don't need to be max Spadef for Gudra to do what it needs to do. So, I ran a lot into it, rocking Flash Cannons, Flamethrower, Draco, and Life Dew for some healing with the Leftovers. Um, we got Draco just because it hits everything but treads and screamtail to hit treads we have flamethrower and to hit uh screamtail we have flash cannon life do was just the last attack i wanted to be able to heal with gutra if possible um the next three mons we have doug trio alola with the focus sash this is going to be my lead most likely set up the stealth rocks with doug trio um we got Earthquake because he doesn't have a good ground switching except for Zerud and um, Zapdos. But for the Zerud, we're probably just going to start clicking Iron Head. And then we have Sucker Punch just in case we need to revenge kill the Dragapult with something. Um, Iron Head was mainly for the Screamtail. I could have ran the Rock move, but I didn't want to put Ductrio in a weird situation where like, I would be forced to be clicking Rock moves on like Zapdos. Or, um, you know, just getting it wrong on Treads. Now we have the Choice Scarf Chiyu because this is an item cause leak. Only one Mon can be Scarfed for Cherry Side. So we ran Choice Scarf Chiyu because Choice Scarf Chiyu outspeeds everything except for, let's say, Screamtail, Treads, um, Zapdos, Zerud at plus one. So, I mean, that is a, a lot of his Mons. But I figured that he wouldn't run them Scarf. Chiyu should be able to get the upper hand and hopefully to hit KO some things. And last but not least, I didn't want to know what I wanted to do with my solo bro. I just brought it max HP, max defense, mainly for the Palafin, mainly to take hits from Iron Treads, rocking Future Sight, Ice Beam, Earthquake, and Grass Knot. Earthquake does a lot to Volcanion. I'm pretty sure he's going to run Volcanion, max HP, max Bedef. Um, and with Slowbro set, he can hit a lot of Mont. Uh, with the AV, he's going to be tanking hits. And then I get to just bring him in, switch him out, Regenerator, you know, pretty good wall. See you guys in the battle. All right, so we just got connected with Cherry Man Cake, and he brought the freaking threats. But what he didn't bring was the Quillfish. So he brought all his legendaries, like Mons over base uh, 600 BST. Um, okay, so we're just going to lead off with our Doug Trio, right? And go from there. He most likely is going to want to lead Palafin um, just to get off that, that zero to hero, which I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna lead off with Doug Trio. Um, I wanted to lead off with Doug Trio and get off my rocks because rocks is very good just to get every chip on every single one of his mons so that Lycanroc can hopefully 
go to crazy in the end. Um, he does have his Zerud, who is the Terra, which is very scary. Let me get that Zapdos sprite real quick. Like I said, he most likely is going to want to leave Palafin, um, giving what he brought. So, leave a like if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. So, he's going to lead off with Treads. So, Treads is the lead. Okay. Alright, uh, for the Treads, I'm just going to go EQ. I'm going to just EQ, because this is his spinner. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go for that EQ. So I'm faster. He is so he's gonna go second. As we just EQ, we get a lot of damage off. He goes for stealth rocks. Okay. Okay, so that is great. That is great for me. I promise you, that's great for me. Um, I think here I probably want a stealth rock myself yes yeah, he just switches okay that's fine probably into zap we'll put up his zap into his zap okay as we just go stealth rocks nice 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 so that is a great start for us um no telling if this zapdos is gonna have heat wave or what um my main answer to zapdos was the snail which can come in here. Um, I think I think that's who I would love to come in. Cause there's no telling what this thing wants to do. Um, yeah, we just bring it in. I could get off the rocks later with Serena Rapid Spin. Um, I didn't bring Gengar. I need to change my sprite. Let's go. She you. As he goes for the Heat Wave. So we're gonna eat that. He gets a crit. Um, he's gonna reveal the leftovers. We're also life do leftovers with life do. Um, he didn't bring his screen tail, so I really feel like a Draco is just free. Let me just drop a Draco. Let me just drop a Draco right here. And then we are going to switch my Zapdos. As he goes for Volt Switch, okay. So he Volt Switches. We don't really care about that because we stayed in. Oh no, I already have like a rock. Who do I have? Um, slow bro. There we go. Brings back in the treads. And then we're gonna be able to kill this thing. As we just go for the Draco. Now this actually opens us up to um This opens us up to being set up on right here. Hopefully. He doesn't have anything too crazy to set up with. Um, let's see. Gudra, Serena. We have Doug Trio. So he's going to send this Arud. Alright. So this is his first free turn to set up. Um, I think the only thing I could really do is go Chiyu. Hopefully he doesn't click um trailblaze on this turn because if he clicks trailblaze we're kind of screwed um ah <sighs> this is the tough part this is very tough because anything coming in is gonna have to take a hit um slowbro should be able to take anything but oh man bro should I just Draco again? I'll go Chiyu. This is very risky, but I'm going to bring it to you. Very risky. And this is, uh, yo, I should have brought a freaking Scarf like and Rock. Does he go Trailblaze? Do we see Trailblaze here? He's a Ruin. Bulk up. Oh my god, yes, he didn't click it. Okay. So, he could only be a. a only. Like, he can't be too many, like, Terras, right? He's obviously weak to my fire move. So, I gotta go Dark Pulse here, right? I gotta go Dark Pulse on his Terra, right? This is a big turn. Um, 
He could go Fairy. Fairy would be very good, but it doesn't resist the fire, which this thing is weak to. I think I'm going to have to go Dark Pulse here. I think that's, that's the only way. <sighs> but what if I went Overheat? Does Overheat really just... Because I might be able to put it in range of... I might be able to put it in range for anything else. Let's say he Terra, like, I don't know, Terra Water, right? On my Overheat. Overheat does 50, 43 to 51. Um, So Dark Pulse is just always better. This is Dark Pulse. Oh, he's going to switch. So he doesn't. Whoa. So he just hard switched into Volcanion. Whoa. That was a crazy play. That was a crazy play. I didn't expect that. Dark Pulse. He's going to eat that. All right. Um. Okay. That works out very well for us. I'm not going to hold you. I was scared. I was very scared, yo. I was super scared. <laughs> All right. Um. That thing isn't going to want to take another another Dark Pulse. All right, so we know that that Zerud has leftovers, his bulk up. This is most likely max HP, max special defense, assault vested. Um, we just bring in our slow bro here, the big bro. Earth power. We're gonna eat that, no problem. Um, we could just go for the EQ, right? I mean. He might want to go Zapdos here. So we could Ice Beam on that. Ice Beam would be cool into Zapdos. I think Future Sight is also really good. Um, just to keep some pressure. Just to keep a lot of pressure. we we'll go Future Sight here. This thing isn't a switch into Chiyu. Chiyu comes in and Dark Pulse is going to hit something. So I'm not sure what um, Mr. Cherry Man is going to want to do here. But I'm going to click Future Sight just to hopefully bait in the uh, the Zerud eventually. He goes into the Zapdos. Yep, yep. Zapdos comes in. Zapdos is Boots. Okay. This is a free Volt Switch for him. Super free Volt Switch. But we could just go into our Snail. And Snail puts on a lot of pressure into his team. Snail puts a lot of pressure. I mean, I could have also went Duck Trio on the Volt Switch. That would have been very good just to catch it. But this thing, he's revealed to have Heat Wave. Heat Wave and Volt Switch. So we're going to come in. Take the rocks. I see Volt Switches. That's fine. It's not going to do much. So now what does he do? Do we see Zerud? So that is going to be Palafin, right? Alright, so Palafin comes in. Palafin comes in. He's definitely not going to want to stay in with this. We could go Life Dew, or we could go for uh, a strong hit. Um, Let's see how long until the Future Sight comes down. Future Attack. The Pokemon will take damage two turns after the attack was first on. So... We first saw the attack, right? It was Slowbro's uh, Volcanion. I clicked Future Sight. That's when he sli switched into Zapdos, right? So that was the first turn. So he's most likely going to want to go Zerud here. Um, I could just click Flamethrower or I could Draco. I'm not sure what does more to Zerud. Um, Flamethrower. Flamethrower does 47 to 56. So I'm going to go Flamethrower here. I see Flips. Not very effective. Not very effective. I'll go Flamethrower here. Uh, he could go Dragapult to catch it. Let's see what he does. Let's see. Who catches the Future Sight? Probably Zapdos would be really good for him. To be honest. Oh, Volcanion comes back in. Okay. Volcanion comes back in gonna take the rocks um we go flamethrower that's not gonna do much as he takes a future site and that's gonna kill it all right so volcanian is down 
um scary scary palafin could come back in um being hero form um but gudra has kind of done its thing now that volcanian is down also we have a dug trio for this aptos i would love to rapid spin these rocks away to be honest i could have clicked life do there but i wanted to catch his zarud hopefully let's see who's gonna bring it brings back in the zarud um not sure what this terra is but because we are at full well we are pretty good i think i'm gonna just drop the draco and try to put it in range of lycan rock right Or should I flamethrower or flash cannon? Uh there's no telling, bro, because he could like literally just start setting up on me crazy. Like he's bulk up, right? Oh man, that's tough. That's tough. This is super tough. But he might try to go for the kill, being that I was very uh aggressive the last time. Switching into Chi Yu. Um I'll go flash cannon. I'll go flash cannon. Reveals the Terra. It's gonna reveal the Terra. Terra poison. Okay. Terra poison on the Zeru. Trailblaze. Bulk up again. He went for the bulk up. Oh my god, that was crazy. He went bulk up again. Oh my god, he ate that. Is he like Max Bedef? Terra Poison. Hmm. Alright, so I just gotta put it in range, right? Let's drop a Draco. This thing gets Drain Punch though, right? Oh my god, bro. Synthesis. Even worse. Synthesis, Drain Punch. Synthesis, Bulk Up. Okay. Oh, that's fine. As we drop the Draco. Is he going to want to synthesis again? Um, I'm going to need to spin to get the rocks off. So as long as he's not Trailblaze, we should be fine. He synthesis bulk up. Probably a uh, grass move. Um, does he go Drain Punch here? I probably should switch to you, right? I gotta bring in Chiyu here. I gotta go Chiyu here. From full, I don't know if Chiyu kills. From full, I don't think Chiyu kills this. Is there a poison? Nah, I don't. Crunch. We should live that. Yeah, we live that. Okay, cool. Um. Terra poison. I just gotta overheat here. I just gotta overheat. Yeah, I just gotta overheat. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is tempting, but I mean, I need to try to get this threat out of here. Overheat. Alright, out the scarf to you. We hit, we kill. Thank goodness, bro. Oh my god. Alright. Do I still need my scarf to you? I think versus. Alright, so there's Dragapult. There's Zapdos and there's Palafin. Palafin most likely is gonna come in to hit Jet Punch. Oh, Test Drive. All right, so the Dragapult comes in. Um, I think I just need Chip on this. So I low key would just want to overheat just to get Chip off. I need Chip. Overheat again. That's some good damage. Dragon Dance. Okay, it's okay. I'm Sucker Punch on uh, Doug Trio and uh, Lycanroc. So, I mean, I'm slower. I'm going to just go overheat again. Disable. Oh, my God. B-Dance Disable? He's going to get to plus two free. Oh, man. All right. So, let's go Serena. Max HP, max uh, defense. Now, uh, if I Terra Power Whip. Serena versus Dragapult. Serena versus Dragapult. 
defense. Now at plus two, Dragon Darts has a chance to kill, but if it's mixed, that'll be scary. If I Terra Grass Power Whip, it does 41 to 48. Um, and then I should be able to just Excel Rocket after. All right, so let's do that. So let's bring in Serena. Dragon Dance again. All right, I just need Serena to hit my hit this Power Whip. Hit this Power Whip, and then I can Excel Rock after. All right, Serena, don't. Please, Serena, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please, Serena, please. Please hit the Power Whip. I'm begging you. Serena, please. I believe in you. I believe in you, Serena. Oh my god. What if this thing is life orb? If it's if this thing is life orb? Oh, I don't know about that, buddy. If this thing is life orb? Dragon Darts has a chance. Dragon Darts has a chance if this thing is life orb. It's at 87% chance if this thing is life orb. Oh man, please don't be life orb. Please. Please don't be life orb. Protect. What the heck is this set? Protect disable D dance? Protect disable D dance? With dragon darts? I just whip. Come on, Serena. Come on, Serena. You got this, bro. I believe in you, Serena. Please. What's his last attack? What is Cherry's last attack? Because if it's dragon darts. Slowbro eats that, and I click Ice Beam. Slowbro is definitely going to eat that. Protect, disable. Wait, he would disable this turn, right? Oh my god, why didn't I switch? Why didn't I freaking switch? Oh my god, he's going to get to plus three. I trolled it. I super trolled it. I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, he's going to get to plus three. Bro, what the heck? Yeah, he's just going to disable. He's just going to disable. I should have U-turned. I should have U-turned. It's okay. I can U-turn this turn. Phantom Force. Oh, okay. That's fine. Phantom Force does what? Oh, wait. No. That's not fine. He'd actually clap something. Um, We could go to you, right? We just go to you and then bring back in Serena and then you turn into slow bro and then just ice beam or maybe even future sight. Um, yeah, this is okay. This is fine. This is fine. I could deal with this. Um, yeah, so I just sacked the to you fairly certain, fairly certain. I just sacked to you here. I just sacked to you. Phantom Force. It fails. Okay. Um, I could just go back into Serena and Power Whip. And if he protects, then I just U-turn. Hold on. Phantom Force kind of goes crazy on me, though. Um... I'm a U-turn first, just in case he protects. I'm a U-turn. Oh, he Phantom Force straight up. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, so now I just power whip. Hopefully I hit. Phantom Force does a lot of damage. We hit the power whip. Yes, Serena, yes. And now I actually I'll heal this. I actually I'll heal this because I can synthesis this turn. Phantom Force. Synthesis. Okay. Um 
and then I just go power whip again. Hopefully I hit Phantom Force. Oh, he crit me, bro! What? Okay. Um Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I I just got to hope that uh I don't get paralyzed, I guess. Dude. Come on, son. Like. Come. Come on, son. Yo. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's bring in. Let's bring in the bro on Palafin. Um, he might flip turn. Let's see. We take the rocks. Flip turn. Yeah, I couldn't risk staying in there. Goes back. Slowbro versus Zap. Would I would I be trolling if I stayed in here? Ah. Uh, I mean, I could go you, right? No, you can't really touch Zapdos. Do I sack the Doug Trio? And then I could Draco? Bro, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna just go Doug Trio. I'm gonna just go Doug Trio. Yo, I'm so freaking nervous. Vol switch, okay. Okay, we don't have the rock move, sadly, because I decided to run steel attacks. But that's fine. Um, He could just go for the, the heat wave. We may be able to flinch it. Um, Heat wave? If he goes heat wave, I feel like you're free, right? Um, Yeah, you are free. Nail. Take the rocks. He wave. Uh, no burn. We recover a little bit. Um, I think putting Palafin in range for Lycan Rock would be great. Um, over clicking Life Dew because Life Dew is gonna give me what twenty percent. But I don't know if Palafin could touch me anyways. Palafin may have Drain Punch though, which is a little scary. But I'm pretty sure that Slowbro would 1v1 it anyways. Um, so do I click Draco or Life Dew? Um, I think Draco is fine. He goes Heat Wave. So he's going to try to chip me down. He's going to go Draco. He's going to do over half. He's probably going to Roost here. Um, not much I could do about that. But just click Life Dew, right? Get some health back. Oh, he's gonna heat wave again. Is he not running roots? We life do. Um. Do I just drop another Draco? Uh, probably just to try to put it in range, right? I don't know. I actually don't know what to do. Flamethrower did a lot of damage, though. Um, I want to reset Gudra's attack. I think clicking life do is fine. Vol switch.
brings in Palafin. Palafin comes in, gonna take some more rocks. Every time Palafin takes rocks, that is great for us. Go for the life, dude. That should bring Gudra up to full. Uh, not full, but pretty close. Pretty close. Um, alright, let's swap slow, bro. Swap slow, bro. Bring in the bro. Stones dug in. Goes for the CC. I'm gonna eat that. Um, drop his defenses. I don't think Palafin is gonna stay in. It's most likely gonna go for a flip turn. Um, Ice Beam would be cool, but I think Future Sight is just as good for keeping up that pressure. Um, but because I don't think I two hit KO Zapdos with Ice Beam, so Future Sight is most likely just a move. He's gonna hard switch out into Zap. Zap comes in as we go Future Sight. Um, he could go Heat Wave or. Volt switch. Uh, there's kind of no telling. I think Gudra is super fine though on either of those moves. Yeah, Gudra, Gudra is super fine. Because we've seen Zapdos take a chunk from the Draco Meteor. Just bring back in Gudra. If he goes Thunder Wave. Okay, so he's going to get some Paras. Okay. So Thunder Wave Volt Switch. Um, not sure what the last couple of attacks would be. Uh, let's just drop a Draco here. Hopefully, hopefully we do hit the Draco. Let's go Draco. As he goes for the Roost, okay. So Zapdos is gonna reveal the Roost, and we got Parod. God damn. Gonna take the Future Sight attack. Damn, I actually would have came very close to killing it. I'm not gonna hold you. I would have got very close to killing it. Um, let's go flamethrower. Right, because we're gonna need to keep it low. He's gonna roost again. Flamethrower. So a good, like twenty-five. A good twenty-five percent. So that's two roots down. The app he has eight total. So that's like what six more. Volt switch. Okay. Volt switch back into Palafin. Back into Palafin. Gonna take more rocks chip, which is great for Lycan Rock. Great for Lycan Rock. Flamethrower. We may not get the burn. Oh, we crit it. Okay. No burn. Recover some leftovers. Um, I just hard switch out into slow bro. I just hard switch out into slow bro. Go slow bro. And what does Cherry go for? Gonna go for the wave crash. The big wave crash. Alright. That's all that's some that's some good chip for him. I'm not gonna hold you. Um I think I just go future sight again. Yeah, I go future sight again. Future sight, um and then I just go Gudra on Zap. Like I've always been doing. Go Gudra on Zap and then click Draco. As he goes wave crash again. Okay. Bow. 25% damage by the recoil. Future sight. Um if he's gonna let this thing go down, be my guess. Because I could just ice beam here. Wave crash again. Okay. So he just lets the palafin go down. To trade it for the bro. So he's gonna live on one though. Um that is an uh, Excel Rock from Lycan Rock. Now, there's no way he would be able to outspeed me. So we just go Excel Rock. Bow. 
And now, Lycanroc into Zapdos. Now, if Zapdos is max HP, max defense, right? Impish, right? No, bold. Now, Stone Edge should kill. It has 84% chance out of my Lycanroc. Well, it does 84%. That looks about range. So, let's go Stone Edge. Hopefully, we hit. There's a lot of hopefullys, man. I mean, I always had to try to hit this. I missed. Oh, man. like Rock. Come on, bro. Volt Switch. We should even die. All right. Live on 10. All right. Like and Rock. Please. Please. Like and Rock. Please. Please. Like and Rock. Please. 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 I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Like and Rock. I'm actually begging you. Please. All right. Hit the Stone Edge. That's going to kill it. All right. So. We get out of round one for playoffs. A very tough battle. Great game to Cherry Man Cake. Yo, the odds were stacked against me. I told them I'm planning on winning it all. I'm trying to take the chip. So, GG's. Make sure you guys head over to Cherry's side. He had six freaking legendaries, pretty much. I'm glad my team was able to pull up and do its thing, though. Definitely was a great game. And shouts out to Cherry. Um, see you guys in the next one. Peace.